Finally, Made in America. Many cities and towns and the military try to buy Made in America when they can. But what happens when the label is wrong? ABC We've been asking the question for so long, they see us coming. I'm David Muir with ABC. Yeah, I know. How are you? They usually know what we're going to ask before we even ask it. Where was this made? Made in China. I know, I know, I know, I know you show, I know you show. <laughs> but the newest question didn't come from us. It came from a factory in upstate New York making American silverware, asking why is silverware being sold on a government website to towns and cities, to the military, labeled Made in America, even though some of it is made in China. And nobody can tell us why. And this is why those factory workers are fighting mad. Think about this. For every $100,000 we sell, it's probably a job. That's 30, 40 more jobs that we can provide in Cheryl, New York. It turns out the government says it doesn't police this website. It's the third party distributor of the products listing their own information. After our report, that website gave those distributors an ultimatum. Correct the listings or be barred from selling. And tonight, word of a victory. Cheryl Manufacturing in upstate New York telling us the other silverware made overseas has now been removed from the GSA website. They say it's no small victory. They're convinced it will create American jobs. Keep those Made in America tweets coming. I'm David Muir. I'll see you right here tomorrow night. Good night.